Hello guys, so today I would like to share with you about Houston Maritime Attorneys. We serve injured maritime workers nationwide offices in Texas and Louisiana. Just like any other industry, Women are at risk for suffering work-related injuries any time they are on the clock. The courts recognize this and are continually working to protect injured seamen through general maritime law. Maritime law gives workers who have been injured offshore or in the maritime industry the chance to claim necessary compensation for any suffering of medical complication. General maritime law is the basis for all injuries sustained by seamen. It is important to have a comprehensive understanding of the general law before delving into the success, subsequent act. History of Admiralty and Maritime Law Maritime law, also referred to as admiralty law, is nearly as old as the shipping industry itself and governs most accidents that occur on navigable waters. The law roots can be traced back to the unwritten customs of nautical behavior of the Egyptians and Greeks. However, the earliest formal codes were established around 900 BC on the great island of Rhodes. The original maritime laws and codes stained from the ancient customs and rules of shipping for examples. The doctrine of general average, the concept that all sea cargo stakeholders, owners, shippers, etc. Even we share any damage or losses that may occur as a result of a voluntary sacrifice of part of the vessel or cargo to save the whole. Can be traced back to the early shipping custom of the Roviat. Concept of a separate legal authority regulating maritime issues was brought to the West by Ileana of Aquitaine, who learned of the concept when she accompanied her first husband, King Louis VII of France, to the Mediterranean on the Second Crusade. The term Admiralty Law came from the British Admiralty Court, who presided over maritime matters separately from England's common law courts. As the U.S., the judicial system is based on the British system. Amended admiralty laws were gradually incorporated into our legal system soon after the Constitution was ratified. So, it is still based on industry standards and customs. Maritime law is largely found in the U.S. Constitution Free ties and international convention, federal studies, the general maritime law, and other judicial decisions, administrative regulations, and customs. When does maritime law apply? Perhaps most obviously, maritime law applies to events that occur on high seas. In other words, accidents that happen beyond the territorial waters of any country. Furthermore, maritime law applies to the territorial sea which are waters within 12 miles of the shore. However, the law's applicability becomes less clear further in much. Early in the United States history, maritime law did not apply to incidents that occurred within the body of the country and therefore excluded incidents involving the Great Lakes and non tidal inland waterways. However, throughout the 19th century, this 
collection around it away. Certain lies now apply to navigable waters. A waterway is being navigable if by itself. Or by uniting with other waters, it can serve as a continued highway of which commerce is or may be carried on with other states or foreign countries. Consequently, if a body of water is completely landlocked within a single state, then it is not navigable for purposes of admiralty jurisdiction. However, a body of water doesn't need to flow between states to be deemed navigable. A body of water may be deemed navigable if it is a link in a chain of bodies of water that can be used to service interstate commerce. Ultimately, the test is that the commerce of one state must be capable of being carried into another state or a foreign country. Once this test has been passed, it is likely that maritime law will be applicable even if it is a professional vessel. Incidents that require Texas Maritime Accident Authorities Custom maritime injury attorneys exist to help injured seamen or dock workers get the compensation they need to recover from serious injuries and afford long-term medical costs that occurred offshore. That includes any accidents that occur on navigable waters, rivers and ocean, and in harbors or docks. Our maritime lawyers have represented clients who were injured in Jacob rig accidents, stock boat and barge accidents, stock accidents, commercial fishing accidents, falls overboard, cargo ship accidents, dredge accidents, oil platform accidents, shipyard accidents, cruise ship accidents. One notable aspect of maritime accidents is that they are often devastating. Offshore oil rig explosions cause significant damages. Vessel collisions are frequently catastrophic, and oil platforms can unfairly change the lives of workers. Maritime lawyers fight to help workers recover the compensation they deserve. Whether they are suffering after a major explosion or have injuries caused by unsafe working conditions. Our maritime attorneys represented more few members of the Deep Water Horizon and the El Faro than any other law firm. We not only understand maritime law but the practices and culture of maritime employers. Stick with us to discuss your case so we can go over your legal and financial options. So I think that's all for me. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the video. Bye.